Hello and welcome to another video. So I thought I'd start this uh, video off a little bit different. It wasn't my intention when I went out on Saturday to record this trip. Um, I was only taking sort of like pi uh, pictures of uh, small uh, common species of, uh, of bird as you can see here. I mean, one of the many, many, many um, bird hides in the Cotswold Wildlife Park. I really don't utilise this place enough to be honest with you but I just went to this one bird hide that I knew there were feeders out and I put, filled the feeders up and um, waited for the small birds to come along as you can see we've got a blue tip there on the left hand side um, waiting to go on the feeder and one just went on the feeder so it's, as I was busy myself with that I have actually glanced out on the lake and there was quite a lot of wildfowl on the lake to be honest but what caught my eye was uh, uh, a great crested grebe it was um, pure white and uh, grey plumage absolutely stunning looking great crested grebe and um, I, I tracked her for a while she did stick out like a sore thumb because on the lake itself there was um, you know tufted ducks uh, uh, grebes and uh, and coots they're, they're primarily black black uh, black colored birds anyway so this quote crested grebe did actually stick out quite well and i was tracking her for a while so i, I took my uh, 70 to 200 nikon f4 lens for this trip because i didn't really need the range because these are quite close in these these birds here um but i did take my 1.4 teleconverter um so um i took stuck the teleconverter on while and i started to track the uh, great crested grebe and before long another one came along and um, lo and behold they started to do the courtship dance which you're just about to see now now this is handheld with the uh, Nikon D500 and the 70-200 f4 with the 1.4 teleconverter on um, I'm shooting this in 4k so you get the extra reach so you, you lose the electronic stabilization it's just the stabilization you get in the actual lens so this is all handheld and uh, they I actually caught it twice on, on that morning so what I did is I finished up where I was, I went round and walked round the lake to see if there was a, a particular vantage point where I could come back the following day um, with my pop-up hide and my 150 to 600 Sigma and my inner L tripod and fluid head and sit there and see if I could get not only the courtship dances but also the uh, very elusive reed dance where they come out of the water and do a dance out of the water. So anyway, um, I won't go on anymore. I'll put that video up now and I hope you enjoy it.
Right, it's um, <clears throat> just gone 12 o'clock and that's been done. I want to pack up and go home. It's been a really enjoyable morning here. I got here just as it was getting light, around about 8 o'clock. So uh, I've been here, you know, four, four hours, five hours. And I've had some really good footage here. Really, really pleased with the footage I've got. Um, Video-wise, excellent. Um, not many images, I think I've only got a couple. Um, but they were just too far off to take photographs, you know. Just too far off, they're right on the other side of the lake. Um, but if I was at the bird hide, I would have never been able to see it. So being in this position where I am now, it enabled me to have a 180 view of the, of the lake. And um, a really, really, really good spot. I should come back later on, sort of like in the springtime, see if they, this, these two are still here and see where they've built their nest. Um, but yeah, really, really good. They're going at it again now, look. I just see them out there. <laughs> just keep doing the darts, it's amazing. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna pack away. Hope you like the video, hope you like the footage. Um, a couple of images I did take up up on screen. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video guys. Cheers. <laughs>